Hello everyone. Um, today I want to uh, show you a little trick on the rigging section of Akitsu, um, which is quite simple. Um, it's just about uh, how you can decide to um, parent joints uh, between them. So here I've got um, a super simple example with uh, three joints. So this guy here and those two joints. So as of here, um, if I move this joint here or this one, um, they all move independently. But um, if I want, um, I can decide to parent, for example, this guy to this guy. So let's do this. I select this one first, then this one, and I hit parent button. So when you parent joints, um, we always take the last selected joints as the um, parent for the selection, just because you can't have one parent for a lot of child and not um, a lot of parents for uh, a lot of child. It, it does not make sense in a joints uh, world. So, um, for instance, here, if I would like to parent, um, let's say, this joint and this joint to this joint, all I have to do is select this joint, this joint, and lastly, select this one. Then in Akitsu, you can see uh, who is the child and who is the parent just by looking at the nearby uh, connection. So here, uh, as it's um, separated slightly, um, we know it's the child. If it's connected, then it's the father. Okay, so to go back uh, to uh, my example, um, what happens if I parent this joint to this joint? Well, I can still move this guy independently, okay, but when I will move this one, it should move also this one. So it, it, it does not just because here I'm in build pose, so I'm creating my skeleton. And when I create my skeleton, I choose to be in pivot mode. If I click there, then I'm no longer in pivot mode and uh, the joint I move embarks all its uh, hierarchy. And that's what uh, the joint will normally do. So if I want to see how my rig behaves, I will go in paint and check, always. Okay. So if I go um, on a character, for example, this Jedi, um, here I'm in bind pose, so if I move this joint here, nothing happened. But if I go in paint and check, then, okay, it brings joints and, of course, vertices attached to this joint. That's the goal of the paint and check. So here the interest I can have uh, by doing uh, this kind of hierarchy is that now if I rotate uh, this joint, this one will rotate on this joint. And it's quite important to understand uh, the rest. Um, then I could also um, run this guy here to this guy here, if I want. So go back in build pose, so I can touch uh, the rig atelier buttons, and then go back in paint and check just to verify everything is okay. So if I rotate or move this joint or even scale this joint, okay, um, its child will follow. What's important there is that I've got, in fact, um, a first layer of control to move those two, two joints. So imagine I want to bring this joint here, there, and this joint here, there. Okay. But uh, keeping uh, their positions and uh, don't have any uh, like uh, delta from this posing to this one. So the best way to achieve this is either to select the two joints together, okay, or to select the parent. 
which will do exactly the same thing. Uh, but the parent has the, 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 the good way that uh, you can also rotate, etc. etc. If you pick up uh, these two joints and you, you start to rotate, um, they will simply rotate in place. I can see it by activating the pivot. Okay. I've got this on my child, but if I go on my parent, I've got this. Okay, and you can go a bit further if you want to, for example, um, attach this joint to this joint. So I select this guy here and this guy and hit parent and it will automatically redirect the hierarchy this way. So now what will happen is that if I rotate this guy here, sorry, I reset the, the chain. So if I rotate this guy here, I will um, keep the same uh, value like this here but uh, in fact this guy here does not inherit um, just of um, these joints movements it's, it's also inherits of this one meaning that if I do this in addition of rotating this guy I can have a um, expanded movement like if you know the trebuchet um, which is a super cool catapult. If you if you are fond of uh, Lord of the Rings and Minas Tirith, you know what I'm talking about. And if not, just um, see some videos about it. It's really interesting. So um, here, what uh, I will have is more movement possible for this guy based on its uh, hierarchy. So. It's just up to me, um, depending on, on when, what I want to uh, achieve. Um, okay, and of course, uh, what is super cool is that um, if you decide to um, uncompensate scale uh, on these joints, uh, when I will scale this guy here, um, these joints will follow. So imagine I um, go on my Jedi here. Jin. And uh, again, imagine I've got a parent for all of these joints, and imagine all of these joints are um, not compensating, compensating scale at any time. So what will happen? If I do this, you can see that I uh, compress my eye. So the geometry, if I take the eye out, is not is not really spherical. Okay, but if I rotate, rotate this guy, it will maintain its, its um, compressed um, shape. That's just uh, because his parent is compressed and because he is not compensating the scale. So, so it's really useful if you need to, to have uh, some uh, specific expressions and more control over your uh, facial rate. So, um, on this character, for example, I've got uh, this example, uh, which retakes exactly uh, this one. So, I've got the possibility to move uh, the nostrils independently if I want, but I can also scale the wall part like so. Okay, and both will follow. So if I choose to turn my nose like this, I don't need to uh, readjust this guy. It's uh, already quite okay. So it simplifies the manipulations. Then same for the lips. Imagine you have to make a smile. It, it's not super cool to have uh, having to just move every joint one by one. Okay. It's better if um, you have one joint that does just that. Okay, it is simply the parent of all of the joints of the upper lip. So this way, I can move my upper lip pretty easily. And then, if I need, um, I can readjust uh, these guys. And as I've got two um, 
Good growth for uh, my lead, so my lips, sorry. Um, it's easy to, to set up a smile this way. I can even uh, choose to, once my smile is done, to just uh, rotate this in uh, screen space or move it and adjust the whole smile at once. Like this. It's super, super, super easy. Um, so for the eye, we have got quite the same thing. So uh, one big controller uh, here. Right here. So this guy controls basically the whole block here. So imagine that you have a big controller um, allowing you to move all this part of the face. So it's uh, exactly what this guy does. So you can quickly set up a face um, asymmetry, for example, like so. So it's really it's uh, yeah, it's a bit rough, but um, that's the idea. Okay, and then if I want, um, I also have uh, this. So basically, that's uh, one joint here, and this joint controls um, the three joints of my eyebrow, plus the vertices of my arcade. arcade. Um, so if I move it up or down, I can quickly set up a uh, eyebrow expression. Okay, and then I can refine this with these joints. And that's the idea um, of layering your control. Um, you don't necessarily have to uh, keep every joint separated and attached to their uh, logical parents. For example, um, the lips here are not attached directly to the head. Uh, that's uh, something I did a uh, long time ago. Now uh, I prefer to have intermediate um, controls like this one here so um, so I can uh, quickly uh, create um, a sure expression and then refine if necessary uh, the area I need and of course you can go much crazier uh, than this um, so for, for instance you could uh, decide to control uh, the lips with a, a secondary uh, layer of control. So um, imagine instead of having um, one, two, three, four, five, um, you've got just uh, three joints. So maybe one there, one there, one in the middle. Um, and uh, this joint just helps to shape out uh, the smile. And then after the joints, you've got uh, two joints per um, each. Joint. So instead of five, you, you will have in uh, the end, you will have uh, joints controlling the wall upper lip. But in fact, they all inherit from uh, three, three uh, main joints, and you most of the time will uh, just need to move this guy. And then, if you need to refine your smile because I don't know, you've got a really specific expression to, to do, um, then it's it's easy. You just have to pick the the end controllers, uh, those who really control the vertices and adjust slightly your your um, your, uh, your expression. So that's it for this um, quite uh, technical tutorial. Um, I hope I I've, I've missed no one. I've lost no one. Sorry, sorry, and. Um, See you next time. Bye.